Well, good morning. Welcome to Vista Church. Um, if we haven't met, my name's Leanne, and I get to be the kids director around here. Um, and it's been a privilege the last two months. Our kids have auditioned and prepared and rehearsed to tell you the greatest story that we could ever tell. I'm so proud of these kids. They've worked really hard to lead us in worship this morning. So that's really what they're doing. So um, without any further ado, Vista Kids proudly presents a very abridged version of the Christmas story. The time has come, said God, to send my son to visit earth. He'll save the souls of everyone. It will be a momentous birth. First, I need an angel to set my plan in motion. I need someone calm and bright that won't cause a commotion. Gabriel, I have a job for you. It's a very special one. You must visit Mary and tell her she's to have a son. Of course, said Gabriel. I will go, but what makes the job so great? He'll save the people from their sins, so hurry, don't be late. Praise be to God. Gabriel said, what great news I get to bring. Before you go, said God, you need to do one more thing. He must find Joseph the carpenter and help him understand he should take Mary as his wife. It's all part of my plan. Now let's go to Nazareth to see how Mary copes with the news that comes from Gabriel. Her acceptance will bring great hope. Who are you? Mary said. All the doors are locked and bolted. My head is in a spin. Don't be alarmed, Gabriel said. I bring great news. It comes from God, and as you know, all he says is true. You will have a baby. He will be God's son. He will be our savior, a blessing for everyone. But what about Joseph? Mary cried. I'm afraid I want to run and hide. Don't worry about Joseph, Gabriel said. God will work things out. Then I'll do whatever God says without any doubt. Joseph hammered furiously while he tried to work out what was best. He decided to divorce her quietly and then lay down to rest. Gabriel entered Joseph's dream and told him what was what. So when he woke, he changed his mind and entered into God's plot. Soon after this, Mary and Joseph received more news. They would have to travel to Bethlehem to be counted, and they could not refuse. After a long journey, their son was born, a boy they named Jesus, who would come to save us.
God was pleased with the angel's work, but there were more jobs to be done. A message to some shepherds to learn the good news of his son. Don't be afraid, the angel said. We bring news of great joy. You must go to Bethlehem to welcome God's baby boy. Well, let's go then, one shepherd shouted out. We must go to Bethlehem to see what it's all about.
star soon appeared to guide the way for three wise men to visit. They knew they had to go and not waste one more minute. Follow me this way, she said with a wink. I'll take you to the newborn king. They followed the star by night and by day until they came to the place where baby Jesus lay. They were welcomed with on to that stable so dim, bringing royal gifts for the baby. They presented to him frankincense, myrrh, and gold. An event that will forever be retold. It started with the shepherds who couldn't wait to tell their friends of the great gift from God whose love never ends. Wonder 
Let's hear it for our kids at Vista. Didn't they do such an awesome job? That was wonderful, kids. Thank you so, so much. Yes, let's show our appreciation. And let's also thank our stage hands here and all of the other volunteers that help with the kids' ministry and rehearsals, a lot of hard work that went into it. And most of all, to our kids' director, Leanne Blanchett. We need you to come up here on stage. We thank you for your hard work. And I think we have a little something for you somewhere. Oh, yeah, hiding back here with our king. <laughs> Let's show her some appreciation. Thank you so much, Leanne, for all the hard work that you did. We're so thankful for you and the ministry that you have here at Vista.